We would like to start the regular press conference by Foreign Minister Hayashi. Minister, the floor is yours. Thank you. Today, nothing from me at the outset. Please ask me any question. We are open for questions. Please raise your hand when your name is called upon. Do you use the nearest microphone? State your name and affiliation, please. NHK Aoki, the U.S. China online summit talk has started. As the government of Japan, how are you looking or monitoring this meeting? Yes, uh, Japanese time since uh, this morning. We understand that the uh, online meeting has started between U.S. and China leaders. This is a meeting uh, between third countries, so I would refrain from making a comment. Having said that, may I say that uh, it's extremely important for the international community to have the stability in U.S.-China relations. Government uh, has been watching closely the development, including of uh, this uh, summit meeting over the telephone. Under the robust trusting relationship uh, with our other United States, Japan will advance various corporations with the U.S., and we will later approach China so that uh, they would behave responsibly as a great power. Next question, please, Sukahara-san. Asahi newspaper, Sugawara NPT review conference. I have a question on that. Yesterday, with the Nakamitsu of United Nations, January next year, I understand the request was made for the minister to participate. It's a little distant in the future, but Prime Minister Kishida, he calls the disarmament as a life work. In this administration, Foreign Minister, what is the significance of this meeting, and what about your participation in this particular meeting? MPT review conference. Uh, will be held in New York from January the 4th to 28th next year. That is a schedule. Who will attend from Japan has not been decided yet. At any rate, Japan would like to play a proactive role so that uh, this conference uh, will be able to deliver significant results. Also, as for the nuclear weapon ban treaty, this is a very important uh, treaty taking us and exiting to the world of uh, world without uh, nuclear weapon. But to change the status quo, we need a cooperation from the nuclear weapon states. But uh, no nuclear weapon states is taking part uh, in this uh, treaty or convention. We are the only country which has experienced uh, a bomb. So we need to really make our efforts to have the involvement and engagement of the nuclear weapon states. Gaining the trust from the U.S., our only ally, we hope to jointly advance toward the realization of the world without nuclear weapons. Next question, please, yes. Higuchi from Chugok Shimbun. In relation to that, uh, in the, about the nuclear weapons ban treaty March in Vienna, in Austria, the contracted COP meeting will be held. I understand, Ms. Nakamitsu, you had a meeting, but in the TV program later, the Prime Minister was to the fact that the Prime Minister was rather cautious about the possible participation in this COP meeting. But Minister Hayashi, in this meeting, what about the necessity of the Japan's government participation or not. Your take, please. You have mentioned about the remarks made by our prime minister. So as I've been saying to you, as for the nuclear weapon ban treaty, I had already shared with you our thoughts. And based on that thought, based on the remarks made by prime minister, we need to make a responses accordingly. Next question, Anthony Sam, please. Reuters, Srodokovsky is my name. Last night in Myanmar, uh, the American journalist, uh, Mr. Fenster, who had been in custody, was released. At the same time, last night, 
the military ruler, Myanmar's military rulers, media, with their special envoy for a national reconciliation in Myanmar, the chairman of the Nippon Foundation, Mr. Sasakawa, made that particular request according to some reports. So, Minister, first, Sasakawa-san, how was he involved in this, about the this release? How, what was the contribution by Sasakawa-san? You talked about the uh, chair of the Japan Foundation, Mr. Sasakawa Yohei. On the 13th in Epido, he had met with the commander Min Aung flying. We understand that. As for the Mr. Sasakawa's visit this time, he didn't make this visit as a Japanese government representative. This certain communication has always been kept between Japanese embassy and um, in Myanmar as well as in Japanese government with Mr. Sasaka, but uh, as it may impact uh, diplomatic exchange, I would refrain from commenting. Our policy is unchanged. The government will continue various uh, diplomatic efforts toward improving and making breakthrough to Myanmar situation. Next question, please, Abe-san. Yomiuri, my name is Abe. About G7, foreign ministerial conference is scheduled to be held in December while inviting ASEAN, according to some reports. As the minister, what kind of things are you planning to communicate? What are your expectations? Ah. And what about your participation? Yeah, within the year, the second G7 foreign minister development minister meeting is going to be held. This was already concurred amongst the G7 back in May meeting. Details about the schedule and the agenda item are still being coordinated by presidency country UK. So I would refrain from making any concrete comments on this. Having said that, may I say that uh, UK government expressed their intention to invite uh, ASEAN countries to this meeting. We'll welcome that because this is the intention to strengthen the engagement uh, of ASEAN in, in the Pacific and also from UK. As far as my attendance is concerned, nothing has been decided. Yes, Anthony San, the floor is yours. Reuters, Serodokovsky, in relation to my previous question, that Mr. Sasakawa, about this visit to Myanmar, it was not the, on behalf of the Japanese government, according to what Minister Hayashi said. But in terms of the timing, it was a very sensitive timing, ASEAN, in to the meeting, did not invite Myanmar and on the part of ASEAN, trying to send their own envoy to Myanmar, but the situation is pretty tense. Whether they can meet the Aung San Suu Kyi or not, that's the point. But at this particular timing, I don't think Mr. Sasakawa has met with Aung San Suu Kyi, but that in this timing, this visit, what is your take on this, Minister Hayashi? And as for Mr. Sasakawa, did he met with the person who's in charge of health? And uh, I'm sure that he spoke about the vaccines. As Japan, donation of a vaccine to Myanmar, do you have a plan to donate vaccines? And Mr. Sasakawa or the Mr. Fenster's release, any uh, relation to that? As I said to you, my thoughts, Mr. Sasakawa Yohei met with the commander Ming Awin flying on the 13th in Nepido. That's what we know. However, he was not there as a government representative.
And as I said, we've been communicating with Mr. Sasagawa to a certain extent all the time as a government. But with regard to Mr. Sasaka's visit this time, Japanese government had no coordination with Myanmar. Also, as I said, Mr. Sasaka's visit was not made as a government representative. Therefore, Japan is not in the position government considered is not making a comment. As for the vaccine, at Japan, ever since February this year, in terms of a humanitarian aid to Myanmar, we've been involved in this and going forward, looking at the local situation and the needs and emergency of uh, need for the assistance, uh, we would uh, continue international cooperation with international organizations and continue with our humanitarian aid. Because uh, Myanmar people faced with the difficulty, uh, we would like to work with them shoulder to shoulder. Next question, please, Sawai-san. TV Asahi Sawai. At the weekend, the Secretary Blinken of the United States, the, with him, the, there was a telephone talk. You're both Band man, I understand that how do you call each other? How do you address each other? First name, nickname, any decision made on how to address each other? At an earliest possible timing, you would like to have an in-person meeting. But in the beginning of the next month in the UK, there's going to be G's, if the G7 foreign ministerial will be held, are you going to have a bilateral meeting? Yes, uh, on the 13th this month with Secretary Blinken, I had a telecom conversation as a foreign minister to state secretary. Of course, the Japanese U.S. alliance is a cornerstone of Japan's diplomatic policy and security, and Mr. Blinken was the first person to have a telephone conversation with since I have become the foreign minister, which carries extreme significance in building a trusting relationship with Secretary Blinken. I think I made a very first important step. As for the nickname, I will be calling Secretary Blinken Tony from now on. And uh, Secretary Blinken is going to call me Yogi. Yogi means, or it comes from the Yogi Bear, American anime character. When I was a person working for a company, I used to visit the US, at which time I was called Yogi. That's the reason. And as you had pointed out, of course I have a Geens, a band that I have formed myself, and as Secretary Blinken also had formed a band of his own. We talked about that in a conversation toward the further strengthening of Japan-U.S. alliance, we would like to play a good harmony together. We concur to uh, have a face-to-face -face foreign ministers meeting as soon as possible, but uh, inclusive of the inquiry you made previously, nothing has been decided in terms of the schedule. Any other questions? Sorry, please. Sorry, please, and our Japan. First, I would like to thank the foreign ministry for continuing the the practice of uh, allowing us to ask in English, although if you answer Japanese, it's okay. Uh, my question is, the United Arab uh, Emirates Foreign Minister, Sheikh Abdullah, visited Syria recently, and uh, the U.S. Embassy is reopened in Damascus. Uh, I would like to ask, what is Japan's position on the situation in Syria currently? And specifically, uh, does the Japanese government plan to reopen its embassy in Syria, or at least uh, resume uh, consular services mm. through another embassy in Damascus. Thank you. Thank you. Ano, Yes. Uh, as for the high-level exchanges between Syria and some Arab countries, including UAE, as 11 years lapsed since the outbreak of Syrian crisis already. We are watching closely these movements as it affects the stagnant political process. 
vis-a-vis -vis Syrians in Syria, as well as in surrounding countries, faced with difficulties since 2012, Japan had provided humanitarian assistance of more than $3.1 billion through these uh, humanitarian aid, looking at the situation locally to advance the UN-led political process. We will continue cooperating closely with the international community toward resolving Syrian crisis. The reason for temporarily closing Japanese embassy in Syria and relocated to Beirut, Lebanon, neighboring country, is mainly of uh, worsening local security situation. The resumption of work at the embassy in Damascus will be decided taking into account local situation. But at this time, there is no plan to resume the service. Any other questions? Yes, please. Kyoto Sushi Maeda, Minister, about the US-China meeting regarding the roles that Japan, Japan should play as you addressed at the outset US-China relations improvement for the stability of the global community is very important. You are well versed in China, Minister. More than what we have done as the Minister, what are the new strategies? Any ideas, please? Yeah, with regard to the meeting, it's being held today. So going forward, we will collect the related information and analyze them. At any rate, the stability of uh, US-China relationship is important not only for the two countries concerned, but uh, extremely important for entire international community. So inclusive of the summit meeting held this time, Japanese government has been and will be watching closely the development. Any other questions? If not, we would like to conclude this press conference. Thank you.